How should you organize your scratch work for Logic Games on the digital LSAT? You're actually at an advantage on the digital LSAT because it used to be you'd have to squish your diagram around the questions in that test booklet, but now you have scratch paper. So the scratch paper is in booklet format. You've got two pages. We can use those two pages to organize ourselves. On the first page, go ahead and put your master diagram, notate all your rules, put all of the universal inferences on that one page so you know that this page applies to every single question. On the second page, that's where you wanna work through each of your individual questions. Label them very carefully because it's there's a good chance that you're gonna to wanna to go back and review some of these questions and you don't wanna to have to waste time trying to figure out what diagram goes with what question number. So label your question numbers, label your answers so you can easily eliminate, and go ahead and diagram all of your conditionals out on that second page. Keep in mind, if you're diagramming anything and you find that it's actually impossible, it actually violates a rule, cross it out really clearly. Because again, if you go back to it, you don't wanna mistake that for a legitimate diagram because that'll lead you to the wrong answer choice. Take advantage of the two-page system you have, master diagram on one side, questions on the other, organize yourself so you can review, and you'll be all set for logic games.